What's up, Internet? Welcome back to Full Time Play with the CNC, where tonight we're delving into consoles for the first time ever on this show. And sort of kick things off, you know, it's not really an RPG of sorts. It's more of a third-person action game um, with subtle, very subtle RPG elements thrown in there. I think to the point where even you can't really edit them, per se. But you do level up your strength and your magic and all that sort of stuff. Uh, we're actually going to be starting off here with this awesome game. It's the Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix. That is very loud and is probably coming back through the microphone. So let's crank that down a little bit. So, I've been excited to play this for quite a while. I've actually played a little bit with the Little Munchkin, about half an hour's worth. Uh, just enough to get through some of the fluff. And I actually haven't played the final mix version at all, so... We're going to be seeing <laughs> how well we can do maybe a 100% clear of this. Not 100% sure if we're going to be successful or not, because I've never played Final Mix and it's been quite some time since I played the first one. Uh, I recently played the 3D version on the DS, and I'm looking forward to Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out. It might be the only reason I actually pick up a PS4 uh, or an Xbox One. Who knows? Uh, there might be other reasons to get an Xbox One how their Twitch support is when that drops next month. Um, we will definitely be picking up the 2.5 HD remix when it comes out later on this year, and we will probably play through all that as well. We're going to start with Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, play through all of that, the final mix there, and then we will be going through the Chain of Memories, right? I think that's the other one? Yes, Chain of Memories is the other one on this. Um, we will not do the cutscenes because I just feel like it's a little bit close to piracy and stuff, and let's face it, it's just watching a movie, so if you wanted to be able to see that, I'm sure there are other places like YouTube you can go, or if you happen to own a PS3 of the game, you can watch them yourself that way, because uh, you can actually pick this up for pretty cheap nowadays, we actually just very recently got our PlayStation 3 and was able to find it for 30 bucks for the limited edition one that has the nice little art book and everything in it, so box art is pretty, the game is very pretty. The original concept for Sora seems a little bit weird. I'm glad they changed it so he didn't have big furry paws and stuff going on. So, but once the game gets loaded up, we'll get started off here real quick, make a brand new save file, and hop right in. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I can't quite see where my audio levels are right now. The computer is way over there. So I'm watching the line move. And it looks like it's moving enough to keep me over the volume of the game, but we'll have to see once it actually gets loaded up. I know in-game volume is a little bit louder than the menu volume. Get all the nice copyright information. And here we are. Got Sora over there holding the flag. Get a new game going. Uh, da, da, da. We're just going to do normal mode. Vibration. There we go. Not gonna do problem mode right out the gate because I'm sure I get my ass handed to me, but don't really want to do beginner either because that feels like cheating. Alright. I think we've got a epically long cutscene to get through here. And then of course as soon as I can I'm gonna change some of the control schemes because they've always been backwards for me, because I play inverted more than anything. And the weird stock inverted left-right turn really throws me for a loop that I don't like. So I suppose I should probably shut up for cutscenes, huh? I've been having these weird thoughts lately. And I see dead people. <laughs> like, is any of this for real? Or not? Remix on the classic Tyler Hikaru song. Oh. They did a really good job transitioning this to HD from what I've seen so far, which hasn't been much of it. Oh, like I said, I've played maybe a whopping half hour. 
If I remember properly, also, they HDified this, obviously, so full 1080p or 1080i resolution. Um, more capture card only goes up to 1080i, so you'll only be seeing it in that, and possibly lower, depending on what our stream quality is like right now. But, these cutscenes were always pretty in the original, too. This game does even still show its age a bit in places where, uh, particularly right in the opening, the water. And you'll see that right when we get into it. Before we get into some of the other stuff, uh, <laughs> I have only ever played Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 2, and then 3D, all the way through to completion. I tried Chain of Memories when it first came out, couldn't really get into it because of the card-based system, it, just, it felt odd and clunky. Uh, apparently they've really revamped it for the HD remix of it. so. Excited to play through that, and I will play through the whole thing. I mean, it's just like Legend of Zelda. There are games in Legend of Zelda I haven't 100% completed. I mean, most of them I have, and uh, you'll see those on Hero Quest on Wednesdays. Uh, but there were some that were really tough going through the first time, specifically the Spirit Tracks and the uh, Phantom Hourglass, where it's all touchscreen commands, which just always really. They never felt smooth, and I really wish that with, you know, playing it on the 3DS like I do now, if I could use the joystick, that would be great. But of course, take your time, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of what? Snow White and Seven Dwarfs, are they going to kill me? Well, the door is still shut. Alright, now step forward. Can I do it? Of course I can. Move this way. Ha ha! playing on the stock red controller right now. We haven't show it by this up yet. This will eventually be different the show controller. Alright. We got sword, magic, and shield. Um, so... Oh god, can I... Damn it! Can I have the settings menu? No, of course not. Ah! I generally go for the sword because, I hate to say it, I'm awful at magic in this game. Um, I don't generally take the minus in that. Sorry, until I can change my control scheme, this is going to be really jerky. And I'll generally take the Guardian as the disadvantage. Because I'm not really going for the survivability trophy, which is complete the game without using a continue once at all. Vibrations are not going to be right. I'm going to be right. There we go. That's better. Falling through the blackness. So. Okay, Cinderella. The authority. Looking so pretty. Well, not really big. It's. We've got an average size television, which is fine. And actually, until <laughs> until about this time last year, we did not even own a television in this household because I do everything on computers, and I've never really watched cable or anything, and even still, we didn't really get cable until um, later last summer, just because I don't want to, but 
with Fedora being around. Jesus, right. Yeah. Okay. I would fix my camera, but I cannot. Um. I'm oh, sorry, it's gonna be really awful and clutching. Watching me play for a little bit. Until I can change my camera. Um. Which I think is coming up here pretty soon. Yes, lock on. Floating around here for quite a while. Damn, it's still here. Examine the thing. Uh, but it was nice to finally have one. And I'm glad it's the PS3 because Kingdom Hearts. Ultimately, between the two consoles, the Xbox and the PS PlayStation each have their own merits. As a first console for us. Jesus, right. Long way. The uh, PlayStation was the one to go with, so that's what we're going to do. Yep, yep, yep. Pick it up. on FTP. We'll be playing through two hours tonight, which will actually get us somewhere, which is good. Oh shit, this part. I can't ever remember <laughs> if this actually matters for the ending or not, or if I'm always just paranoid about it. So, we're just gonna go... Friendship. So that seems like a good answer. Broaden my horizons. That sounds like a profound answer. Being indecisive. Sure. Why not? Okay. I said, I don't actually know if that matters. Matters for leveling and stuff. Thank you, Chuck. Well, hopefully I picked a good one. Yeah. All right, Aurora. Still can't change my damn camera. I know it's in one of these stained glass areas. There we go. Start button.
There we go. All right, configuration. Uh, camera Y axis, X axis, inverted. Migration. Da, 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 da. All right. Right goes right, left goes red, down goes up, and up goes down. There we go. And a save point. So I suppose we will save. Just in case I really suck it up here. Hoping I won't, but... We're on file number two.